Hello everybody. My plan today is quite simple. I'm going to bake a banana cake. And there's actually two reasons why I like it. One, it's really easy to cook and I like simple. And number two, mmm, it's brimming yummy. So let's get into it. I have all my ingredients laid out at the ready, but before I actually get mixing, I'm going to sort out this block of butter. I've already used half this block of butter, which was 250 gram to start with. So I'm really using 125 gram of butter now, which I'm going to put in a cup, because the problem is, because the butter is a solid block, I need it in like a liquid form, so it'll go into the actual mixture better, and I can, I can whisk it in quicker. So what I've done is I put that butter in the cup like that. I've just boiled the kettle. So I'm going to put some boiling water in this measuring jug. And I'm going to put my cup of butter inside that measuring jug. So that water's basically going to melt the butter. So what I'll do is I'll leave that to melt and I'll come back to that in a minute. Ta-ta! I'm using four bananas. Ideally, you want them as ripe as possible. Overripe if you can. These ones, they're not brilliant. They're not ripe as I'd like them to be, but I can't wait any longer, so I'm doing it. So the whole object here is just to stick your bananas in a bowl, get a fork, and then just pummel them. <laughs> just sort of like squash them all up as best you can. You really want to sort of like get them as, as crushed up as possible so they're all like a gooey mess. So uh, <laughs> this will take a few minutes. It's not looking bad. You see what I mean? You get them all like stewy, really, really mix it up and crush them bananas up until we've got them into a right pulp. Meanwhile, let's check on the butter situation. That's almost dissolved. I'll give that a little bit of a stir. I reckon in a few minutes time, that'll be good. And the thing is, what I want to, the reason I'm doing the button now is because I want to let it cool down. Because it's hot at the moment, with all this hot water I'm sort of like melting it with, I want to let it cool down before I actually add it to the cake mix. I'll just move the banana mush out of the way for a minute. Stick our mixing bowl here. And now I'm going to sort of like crack a couple of eggs. There, lovely. Using my old whisk, I'll just whip these two eggs up, get them nicely mixed up like that. My block of butter has completely melted now. And you'll notice that 125 gram block is now like equivalent to half a cup, which is just what I need. So I'm gonna put this to one side and let it cool for five minutes. Alrighty, half a cup of ordinary semi-skim milk. That's all I'm using. Straight out of Tesco supermarket. So I'll give that a little bit of a whisk in. There we go. Now my butter is cooled. I'm gonna pour that in and give that a little bit of a whisk in. Now we're going to add one cup full of white sugar. Give that a good old stir in while we're here. And I've got half a cup full of brown sugar. You don't have to use brown sugar if you don't want to, but I'm putting it in anyway, just for the extra, extra flavor and sweetness. So I'll give that a good old whisk in, get it all mixed up properly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely lovely. And for extra flavour, we have Mrs. Molly's Vanilla Essence. So one teaspoon of Vanilla Essence. In you go. Give it a little stir. Get it all mixed up. There you are. And this is where we add the old banana. We'll pour that in. <laughs> And once again, now it's in the cake mix, let's give it a good old whisk up, get it all mixed in good and proper. Da -da -da -da. Not too fast and not too slow, but you need to give it a good old whisk up. I'm now going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. So pop that in. 
I'm putting the baking soda in first so I can get that mixed in properly before I put the flour in. I just want to make sure the actual baking soda is actually mixed throughout the whole cake mix first properly. So give that a good old whisk. I'm going to add the flour now, but I'm just using basically plain flour, ordinary plain flour, and it's one and a half cups. If you've got a sieve to sieve the flour in, then probably all the better, but I don't have one. So <laughs> I'm just going to pour it in and then I'm going to whisk it up. This is, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because now you've put, added the flour, it starts to get a bit more difficult to actually stir it. But if you just take a little bit of time and don't try and whisk it too hard, just take it nice and steady. You won't make too much of a mess and hopefully not slop it all over the sides and onto the floor and table. But just take your time, take it easy and you'll get there. Once you get it all like a nice creamy <laughs> mixture like that, you know, you, you know you're doing something right. Just keep mixing it up and down and in and out. Make sure there's no, flat, no dry flour left. So I'll carry this on for about a minute and then we'll be ready. That's it. And last but not least, half a teaspoon of ordinary table salt. So I'll just give that a little bit of a stir in. And I think that's it, we're done. Our cake mix is ready to go into our tray nearly. I'm gonna stick the oven on now. Ideally, you want the oven preheated to around about 180 to 200 degrees. So I'll give that five minutes to warm up. I'm using a metal baking tray here, but you can use the thin foil containers if you like. This particular tray I'm using, it's like 20 centimeters in length, 14 centimeters wide, and five centimeters in depth. But when you fill it, when I put the mix in here, it's only gonna go sort of like halfway to three quarters of the way up, and then it'll rise the rest of the way. But anyway, what I was gonna do, this is, this is the most important bit. Well, it is very important. I've got my little brush. You wanna get some butter and I'm, or oil or something. I'm using just like Batali butter, the kind of butter you'd put on your sandwiches. And I'm just going to smear that in here all the way around this tray because <laughs> the thing is once this once this loaf or banana cake is baked we want to be able to get it out the tray we don't want it stuck in the tray and you could you could have a right nightmare trying to get it out of that stuck in there <laughs> you can imagine it all fall into pieces to <laughs> try to get it out it would be an absolute disaster so uh, I'm going to put all this butter in here which will stop our banana cake from sticking so that's it that's looking good right oh just before I pour this mix into the tray I'll just give it one final whisk just to make sure we're all good <laughs> you need you need to get your elbow grease out now because it's getting quite tight to actually whisk it up but it's looking good all right then, let's pour her in. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. It all depends how much you actually want to put in there to how much it's going to rise. It will rise a little bit, but I'm going to fill the tray sort of like around about halfway. Maybe three quarters of the way. I've used all the mix now, so there you go. That's just about perfect. There's something missing. Hint, hint. Yeah, this is my own little addition to the mix, okay? I just thought it would be nice to add some, like, chocolate buttons on top. I don't know what it's going to come out like. <laughs> but I, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll find out once it's cooked. So, uh how many you put on top is entirely up to you. So I think, I think that sounds about, that looks about good. Looks about right. Woohoo! <laughs> right, let's stick her in the oven. Okay, oven's nice and warm. Pop that in there. There. I'm now going to leave this cake mix in the oven for one hour between 180 and 200 degrees centigrade. And at the end of that hour, I shall check it to make sure it is baked through properly. Woohoo! Oh, 
there we go that is looking absolutely lovely all you need to do now is get a little bamboo stick and stick that through the cake and when you pull it out there shouldn't be any gooiness stuck to the stick if it just goes through and, and comes out nice and clean then you know it's cooked through and that's that's good I'll just check that in a few various places yep excellent we are done so what I'm going to do I'm going to let this cool for about half an hour and then we'll take it out of the tray put it on a plate cut it up and have a taste now this is the tricky bit will it come out of the tray how you get these out of the tray is up to you but this is how I'm going to do it well hey <laughs> look at that it's come straight out so I'll put another plate underneath there like that flip it upside down Ta da I have to say that is looking really nice and all them little chocolate buttons I put on the top they've all kind of sunk in and sort of like molded into the, the, the top of this cake they're going to add to the taste I reckon it's going to be absolutely lovely well here goes this is the knife test I'm going to cut this straight in half oh look it's nice and squidgy oh look at that let's pull it apart oh it's, it's still steaming inside wow oh, that is a work of art mm, oh, that's nice that's really nice it's all squidgy and like it's like it shouldn't be hard it should be like squidgy and soft which it is flip it out let's, let's stop messing around let's cut a slice and have a taste here we go it's still warm mm. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah half of this loaf it's going to be going in my pack lunch tomorrow it's soft it's like fluffy there's, there's no hardness to it like the crust is like just right you can bite through it so easily and it tastes wow oh, mm. yeah love it that's what I like about this banana cake it's so easy to make and it tastes so bloody yummy <laughs> anyway that's it I'm happy it's come out really well like I say it's such a nice easy thing to make and it doesn't cost the earth either anyway thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one adios <laughs>